What's up YouTube and Amazon, Jefferson here with the starters page and today I'll be reviewing the 7 inch monitor by Movo Photo and depending on what you're actually going to be using it for, it's going to be perfect, at least for me. I actually use it just for image placement, just to make sure everything is on frame. Uh, it's not completely true HD. Uh, the reason why I say that is because you look through it, it's not going to be completely crystal clear. Uh, it's, I believe, what, 480? So that's the resolution on there. But depending on what you're going to do, as I mentioned before, you're able to actually view what you want, which is actually really nice. I actually have this one right here. This is the DSTE battery pack. I really love it. This is the, what, NPF 770 battery pack right here, which works really well with this monitor. And with that battery pack, it actually lasted, what, roughly, roughly a week using it for roughly about four hours. So that's really cool. All right, so let's turn this on right here. And right when you turn it on, it takes a little while to actually connect with the Canon Rebel T2i. And sometimes it actually depends what I'm actually doing. But this is usually my rig right here. I just got my video LED light right here, which I absolutely love. Got the monitor right here and the camera. And then there you go. That's how it looks right there. It's really nice. And I love the versatility of this monitor. I want to admit, I actually dropped this monitor pretty hard on the ground and you can't actually tell at all didn't scratch it there's no probably like right here so there's a little scruff mark where there's like a little dent but other than that is actually like a rock so i love how durable this bad boy is which is really cool you have some component cables at the back so so you have a component cable right here. It does come supplied with this HDMI cable. So you have a full HDMI to mini HDMI, which is really awesome. Doesn't come with the battery pack. However, it does come with the power supply, which is super awesome. Got ventilations right there. There's no audio out on here. So if you guys did wanna, you know, listen to your audio and watch the footage, you do have to unplug the HDMI because you won't be able to actually hear anything. So let's actually plug this back in and then show you guys again. It's very straightforward. I actually like it a lot. So let's get it focused right there. So I use this a lot, especially when I do product reviews or if I'm outside in the field. And the reason why I say I use this a lot outside on the field is because when I'm outside and using my camera cage, which I actually have right here, and I have this one mounted right on top of this cam cage. and as you guys can notice, depending on your shots, I don't want to duck down and actually hurt my neck, especially if you're filming for hours. Or if you're taking low shots, you're not going to be able to see what you're filming. So having an external monitor is so useful in so many ways, especially if you want to know if you're in focus. Unfortunately, I don't have a continuous auto focus on this camera which is a Canon Rebel T2i. If you guys do have a continuous autofocus on your camera, then that's perfect. You don't have to worry about focus anymore. Now, you could just use this monitor to actually make sure it's in frame. Uh, other than that, I really do like this external monitor by Movo Photo. I wish it had a better resolution, but considering what you're getting, and considering the durability of this guy, dropped it and then it made it seem like it never happened. I'll be playing the field test for this one right here and that field test is actually going to be how it looks like on the field. I do want to mention, in the video, it doesn't look like the visibility for this monitor is clear, but it is, all right? I think it's just that glare between the lens of the camera going towards here. It makes it seem like you can't see anything. But you're able, at least I was able, um, Paul even said it as well. You're able to see it, but through camera, it just doesn't give it any justice. So with that said, I'm gonna be playing that right. I have Paul right here, who's my cameraman right now. And he's just gonna focus on the monitor to see how well it works in low light compared to bright and if the sun is shining right away. I also have the sun visor on there as well. So that's definitely gonna help us out. Uh, with that said, let's just get to it. Right now, the screen is actually cropped out, so I'm just going to change that real quick. 
to aspect ratio and we are gonna go to 16 by 19 and then that should be it. Paul says that it looks like there's a glare but when viewing it, it's actually, there's no glare at all, surprisingly. All right, so here we go. He's just gonna follow the screen and then this sun right here just looks absolutely gorgeous. We're just gonna pan out real quick. No issues at all when looking towards the sun. And then let's how let's go see how well it works when it's facing the sun. So, so when the sun is hitting it, it does get a little difficult to kind of view, but in all honesty, it's not extremely horrible, which is good. And then this is my favorite part right here. If you want to get low shots, you can. So we could just turn this down. So we could get these low shots. Lock that in. And then record. Nice. We are nature lovers, I guess. it keeps cutting off like that is just because of my connector right here it's not the monitor itself see Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that field test that I did with Paul. With that said, my name is Jefferson. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. If you did want to text me for whatever reason and you don't want to go through YouTube, that's fine. Go in the description box below, look for my number and then text me. You can't call me, just text me, alright? And then I'll text back. <laughs> alright, 7-inch monitor by Movo Photo. Like always guys, take care.